Hi Taurus, it's Joe from Angels and Ancestors. This is your What the Fuck reading, 24th of February through to the 1st of March. Lovelies, there are no announcements this week, so we'll get straight into the reading. And can you give me a card for Taurus as to what started the What the Fuck plays? And can I have the first aspect facing your fears and taking the fucking power back for Taurus? And can I have the second aspect playing your wish fulfillment, your manifestation on why this may be fucked? Oh, that's your journey card. So that's where the fuck you need to be. What you can do about the situation. What is out of your fucking hands, Taurus? And then don't give a fuck the reconnecting to the true you. And reconnection to your true self, please. Thank you. And can I have a final outcome for Taurus, please? Okay, my lovely. So what started the what the fuck Taurus? Forgive me, I'm just gonna pop off for a second because the candles have gone out. Okay, Taurus, let's get going with your reading. Now I've relit the candles. Um what started your what the fuck lovelies? You've got the three of the fame as you've been walking towards a new open door that is illuminated. Um I'm getting the feeling that this is a positive move, it's not a negative, but you are walking away from a situation you're walking towards um, this door. Now, your first aspect, facing your fears and taking the power back, you've had to have a bit of a leap of faith, my darlings. This is the green man in other decks, it's the fall. Um, it's almost like you've had to start over um, and in that you're having experiences that you may well have had before but this time it's different. This time it's it feels new. It feels different. Um, even a little bit odd, I would say. But you are really, really um, taking this massive leap of faith around moving towards this new door. Um, and that's how you're going to take your fucking power back, is that you are... Um, Basically, you're just going to go and do whatever it is that you need to do and bugger the consequences. 
and that's how you feel you're going to stand in your power is by having these experiences all over again but experiencing them from a different perspective is what I'm getting so lovelies moving on to your um, wish fulfillment your manifestation and why it may be fucked now for me this card is a grounding card although it's rods it's eight of rods it indicates hard work it indicates working with the forest behind and using nature's pantry in order to make these beautiful rods um, to do with the business um, but I'm getting that with this particular card as I put it down there's an issue with communication this could well be a positive thing that you are manifesting but I'm getting that you're miscommunicating your thoughts and your feelings around an issue Taurus and I don't think it's going to be difficult to put that right I just think again rather than coming at it like a ball in a china shop with this new leap of faith that you really do need to kind of just check your communication isn't um, being taken the wrong way um, because that would be very difficult for you um, to get grounded again is what I'm hearing and you do like to be grounded Taurus I'm also getting lovelies that there may be a burning desire for this business venture to take off just kind of got that pinged at me that you really are biting at the chomp to get that done and where that, that leap of faith is coming in so lovelies on your journey you have got the yes card whatever it is that you're intending to do however your journey is going you're, you've got the go ahead from the universe there is no um, ifs buts or maybes um, you are going along really nicely um, but the one thing that you need to do what you can do about the situation hold on a minute darlings you got the two of pentacles and when I laid this down normally I see somebody juggling pentacles and say right you need to bring your pentacles back into balance put your foot on the ground get yourself grounded bring that bring those pentacles into alignment so you haven't got more going out than, than you've got coming in basically but I kind of got the feeling as I put this down that these pentacles aren't yours and although you've got this yes card for this that may be the communication that isn't quite getting to where it needs to be because I'm kind of getting the, the pentacles that you're juggling don't belong to you they're not yours they're somebody else's so it could be that you're thinking of a loan um, or borrowing something from somebody but that's what you can do about this situation to move this on. So, my lovelies, what you can't do about the situation, you've got another yes card. You've got the world tree. Now, this is a card of success. It's your roots are going deep. Your branches are going out into the universe. And you can't really put a foot wrong at the moment. And right behind that, again... You're turning your back on a situation. You've had to think about things and you're moving away from this success feeling for some reason. I just got that, Oh, I just got told that this success may be an empty victory. And that's why you're moving away from it. But there's nothing you can do about that. And I'm not getting that that is just for this week. I'm getting you can do nothing 
about that. It was an empty victory. So the reconnecting to the true you is the three of wands. And you may be looking overseas for something. You've got your back turned and you are looking out across seas. You're looking at that ship. Now, whether that ship is coming in for you or whether it is taking stuff across seas for you, I don't know. But this is a reconnection to the true you. So it may be that you've wanted to travel, you've wanted a business abroad, you've wanted to import stuff from abroad. Um, you need to do this reconnection, darlings, because this, this I think, is going to be your burning desire around this communication, this business, and this borrowing of somebody else's coins. So to reconnect to the true you lovelies, have a look inside yourself about maybe something you've forgotten about that you've wanted to do for many years. Um, and maybe the time's right now for you to explore that a little bit further. And maybe you need to be popping yourself on that ship and going and having a look yourself to see if it's a viable option or not. Because lovelies, at the end of your reading, you've got the Three of Cups. You've got celebrations coming in with family, friends and community. And this celebration is... Um, it can be a celebration of many, many different things, many, many different aspects. So, darlings, that's your reading. The only thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to get a clarifier for the Sun card. Um, it's a very positive reading. Um, yet yeah, You've got the yes and the go ahead, but there is a couple of issues around the Sun card that I'd just like to get clarified. You've got two yeses. One is fixed, one is on your pathway. I'm a clarifier for the sun card, please. Yeah, not that many. I'm a clarifier for the sun card, please. You clarify for the sun card is coming into partnership and celebrations of a couple. Now, that pair can be lovers, it can be husband and wife, it can be living together, it can be parents and children, but it is a celebration of the coming together of a couple. It could be business partners even. So that is your yes card, my lovelies. We're just going to get you an angels and ancestors card. The reason I'm using this this week is because I felt that the energies with the Mercury retrograde were so strong that we needed the wisdom, knowledge and energy that this deck can offer. So for your week ahead, you've got the eagle. See from a higher perspective. I was saying that, wasn't I? Okay, see from a higher perspective. So whatever this fixed energy is that you're moving away from, look at it from a higher perspective. Broken arrow, embrace the energy of peace. Which I think is to do with your communications. So Taurus, there you have it. That's your reading for the 24th of February to the 1st of March. Please like, share and subscribe um, and if you can leave me a message and I will catch up with you in next week's reading. Bye for now.